I fired up the old Netflix app the other night to look for something to watch. And up in my personal business was a giant wallpaper for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I reviewed that when it hit theaters and put out a spoiler video. Spoiler! I didn't care for it, to put it lightly. And so seeing that image presented to me on the TV and in turn projected into my eyeballs, I couldn't help but get annoyed and frustrated at that entire film! So I think the only healthy thing to do is to reflect on this movie and the 10 things that pissed me off the most. Let's begin. Before I jump into the top 10, why don't you do me a favor and fire up the old Proton Pack and blast the living hell out of the subscribe button. That way you don't miss a single video by me because every single week I'm posting reviews, rants, live streams, and top 10s, so you should absolutely stick around. In the number 10 spot, we have the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Babies. Are they adorable? Sure. Cute? Absolutely. Darling? These are all the same words. But what these little queso babies really represent is corporate greed. This is nothing more than a way to sell merchandise. But I don't even care about that. What pisses me off about these guys showing up in the last two Ghostbusters Afterlife movies is they make no sense within the story. They're a nostalgic callback and nothing more. In the first Ghostbusters, I shouldn't have to explain this, but Ray's stance conjures up a giant Stay Puff Marshmallow Man because he was trying to think of the least threatening thing he could. It turns out that guy is absolutely threatening as he's stomping down the city streets in mecha form. And that's it, a conjuring made by Ray Nothing more. It didn't show up in Ghostbusters 2, but all these years later, we come up with the mini marshmallow babies because we all are familiar with the scene in the first one, so nostalgia! And they do nothing in these movies outside of just look cute and get into shenanigans. And that's it. And so I, I find it egregious. I find it absolutely disgusting. Let's move on to the number nine spot. Winston went from a blue collar, salt of the earth working man to a billionaire. This guy's got a lot of money, he's been secretly funding ghost-busting projects, but apparently he made all of his money by being incredibly frugal. Because the place he has these people working is embarrassing. He took an old aquarium center and he repurposed it as a paranormal research facility. But on top of that, in Winston's infinite wisdom, he decides who better to handle these incredibly dangerous, incredibly untested devices than your local teenagers. This entire research lab consists of like four people, two of which I'm not even sure are old enough to drive. I just don't know what world we live in where this isn't a major lawsuit waiting to happen. Winston should be getting the best of the best to work at this place. He should be getting brilliant minds put on the board. Instead, we have Lucky working here. Lucky. Here's where we already go from minor nitpicks to full-blown stupid. As we bear witness to Phoebe Spangler sneaking out in the middle of the night to go to Central Park to play chess. With a ghost! On its face, this was already ridiculous. Young girl goes out in the middle of the night to a very sketchy area. It, it's just not a good scenario to put yourself in. But on top of that, she's pl having a play date with a ghost? Granted, that part was unexpected and they will form a bond. They will form a friendship over time that's also equally as stupid. And we'll get to that down the road. First off, I shouldn't have to tell her not to leave the house in the middle of the night. That's pretty sketchy. Secondly, maybe don't talk to ghosts. You know, don't talk to strangers. This is like three steps further than that. Don't talk to ghosts. And listen, I know Phoebe's tough. She's strong. She's not squeamish in the slightest, but maybe be a little bit taken aback by a ghost girl just showing up in front of you while you're playing a game of chess by yourself for some reason. And Phoebe's pretty much unfazed. Frozen Empire, much like the last film, Afterlife, plays heavily into nostalgia and heavily into the old dogs from those original movies. Oh, Bill Murray's in this at some point. Oh, Ray's in this too. We even have Janine, the, the receptionist. She's back busting ghosts now. Isn't that something? So people might be a little annoyed to find out yet again the guys that were all over the trailers... They're barely in this film. In fact, Bill Murray, again, has like two scenes. Ray has a decent amount, I'll give it that. But the rest of the cast is barely present. And when they finally suit up 
for that iconic big bad fight, it is incredibly worthless. This entire outfit of Ghostbusters, old and young alike, can't do shit against this villain, but instead they rely on Budget Zuko from Avatar to firebend his way out of this situation. And we're gonna get to that character in a second, but right now I wanna talk about another annoyance that comes right after this scene. After the Ghostbusters finally defeat the villain, the frozen empire goes away. The cold weather subsides, the people come back to life or something. We don't actually see much of any of it, to be honest with you. Did people die? Unclear. I would imagine some froze and then fell and shattered to pieces in front of their children, their loved ones. I'm sure it was a very horrific situation. But that's not going to stop the New Yorkers from cheering excitedly. They somehow managed to gather around because that's what you do at the end of a Ghostbusters film, even if the script doesn't make any sense getting the people there to begin with. There's a whole bunch. Yay, Ghostbusters, we did it! It's going to dun 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 dun. Skip a bum 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 bum. Did podcasts send out a group text? Everybody got a little notification? Short for notification that they could go over to the firehouse and cheer on their favorite Ghostbuster? There's Bill Murray! Hey, there's the new fan favorite emo ghost girl! Yay! Well, I guess we're gonna have to take control all on own. If it's up to us. In the number five spot, and I alluded to this already, the Ghostbusters are useless in this film. They, they do virtually nothing for the most part outside of destroy half the city, but not in a funny, charming way like they did in the original two films. Because most of this movie isn't funny, it's played very dramatically like Afterlife was, the film forces you to take things more seriously than you really should. But there is one character in this that rises to the challenge, answers the call. That's Camille Ninjani's character, the firebender. Camille's character, Nadim, is the only funny character in this movie. I know we're talking about a film franchise where a bunch of schlubs fight ghosts, but seeing another supernatural element take shape was just a bit much for me. And this one character upstages everyone else and has the only real skill set required to stop the ghosts. Everyone else is just kind of there, along for the ride. In the fourth spot, there is no Frozen Empire. The movie's called Frozen Empire. It, it happens for like two minutes. Two minutes of the film. The rest of it's shenanigans. It's nonsense. Where is this Frozen Empire? It's teased all over the trailers. Icicles ripping through the ground. People freezing to death. But the final act is the only time we really get to see this villain and his despicable acts. And that's probably because we had to make more room for this. Nostalgia! <laughs> I love it. At some point, every adult on Earth is going to stop going, Oh, I remember that! Wow! Cool! The Ecto-1! Slimer! Yeah! Stay puff, marshmallow babies! Walter Peck! Is that the librarian from the first film? Yeah! If you thought Ghostbusters Afterlife had nostalgia bait, <laughs> this one triple dips on it. Nostalgia for the sake of cheap laughs and excitement is one thing, but my next spot, the number two on this list, is just full stop awful. Phoebe Spangler was easily the highlight from the last movie, Ghostbusters Afterlife. She was a fearless, intelligent, quirky girl that carried every scene she was in. So it was really disheartening watching her turn into a sad sack of shit throughout the entire film, never really recovering. She was kicked off the Ghostbusters, which was a very foolish decision. That was a terrible plot point to try to tackle. She falls for a ghost girl as best friends, possibly as more, maybe a crush, innocently. It's hard to know because the script is too afraid to go there with it, but they want to make sure they can have their cake and eat it too. Get a give a little bit for everyone. It's open for interpretation. What's not open for interpretation is her going so far for this friend that she straight up kills herself for a couple of minutes. 
Phoebe and her ghost pal go to the aquarium lab and they fire up the ionic separator. This removes Spangler's spirit from her body, making her a ghost, essentially killing her for a couple minutes so that she can just feel what it's like to be a ghost. Not realizing she's been getting played this whole time. It was all part of the master plan. Keep in mind, the ionic separator has never been used to separate a human from its spirit. This is uncharted territory, and she's just willing to throw it all away. Roll the dice to see if this works for a friend that's a ghost that she's known for like, I, I don't know, a week? I don't know how long it's been. It hasn't been that long. It was already tragic enough that this character was pretty much ruined in the film, but then taking it to such an extreme was full-blown insulting. You know, for a movie called Ghostbusters, you would think there would be some actual ghost busting in it. I just kept thinking of Malcolm from Jurassic Park while watching this movie. Now, there is actually going to be ghost busting in this Ghostbusters film, correct? Right? Wrong. Outside of a chaotic opening scene, which is fun, it's exciting, I wish the rest of the movie was like that, there's virtually no ghost busting the rest of the movie. No montage, no ghosts all over the place. You see a couple here and there, but they never actually trap any of them because the containment unit's full, so they can't even put in another ghost. And apparently Winston, with all of his money and tech, has no way of transferring these ghosts quickly. It's gonna take years and years to do this in a slow, meticulous process. But yeah, maybe when you write a movie about Ghostbusters, you should come up with a concept that plays into that idea a little bit more. Maybe less focus on teenage innocence impressing a ghost by killing herself, and more on shooting ghosts in the face. Well, there you have it, my riveting thoughts on Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. After the first two movies, these have been pretty much terrible. I, 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 and I know a lot of people don't even like the second movie. I still enjoy that one, okay? So I, I'm not without my faults. I'm not without my issues, but this movie has a whole bunch more. Do you agree with my list, though? Do you have some more to pepper in of your own? There's a lot. I, I didn't even scratch the surface, really. There's way more than 10 that you could go over in this film. Let me know in the comments below. Please, again, think about subscribing to the channel. I post movie content each and every week. Would love to have you stick around. If you love what I'm doing, become a Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. There's over 300 exclusive videos there and counting each month I give more. I, I'm just a giving machine. And on top of that, I have a second channel, Adam Does Rants, where I'm ranting about insanely stupid first world problems. Would love to have you there as well. I'm just trying to provide some laughter and entertainment because life can be tough, but it doesn't always have to be. All right, hopefully I see you later. Take care. Well, I guess we're gonna have to think again.